course, tomorrow is a pretty good day if you want to get out for a bike ride or a run. It might get a little damp, huh? For the first half of the day, mm -hmm. yes, but the second half of the day looking much better and still pretty mild spring-like temperatures here to stay for at least the second half of the weekend. But some big changes are moving in. We have a chance for a few showers tomorrow morning, then it gets cold again after a coastal low passes offshore Monday into Tuesday. That may bring some snow showers across southeastern Massachusetts. I'll show you that in just a minute. Super and a blue moon going on next week, too, and that is going to make our high tide extremely high with the coincidence of the supermoon on Wednesday. More about that in a minute, too. High temperatures right now? Well, for today, we reach the 50s. 53 degrees in Boston, 54 in Fitchburg, and 55 for the high temperature in Lawrence. Feeling much like spring, and it still feels like that way out there. Temperatures have fallen a couple of degrees, and now we've clicked back up to 51 in Boston and Lawrence. 48 degrees in Worcester, and a mild 47 degrees in Manchester. Hour by hour, temperatures will stay in the low 50s or 40s. Then we click back into the mid-40s for those overnight lows. Not much of a change, though, in tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon will be right around 50 degrees for those high temperatures, even though a cold front pushes in. Satellite and radar right now, overcast skies and a couple of light showers across southern New Hampshire and across central Massachusetts. And this cold front extending all the way down south across the Ohio Valley. This moves in overnight tonight between midnight and, say, 9 o'clock in the morning. That's our best bet for some light to moderate rainfall. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Isolated locations could see half an inch of rainfall. But all this slowly moves out between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in Boston, between 9 o'clock and noon across the Cape and Islands, and then we're done with it. Although the clouds will linger, may see a little bit of mist across Nantucket for the rest of Sunday as the front stalls out to our south and east. Along that boundary, we'll have a couple areas of low pressure that move by. One early on Monday, that one well offshore. But Monday into Tuesday, a bigger coastal low develops. This one, still forecast models, hinting that it will stay way offshore, more so than what we saw this morning. So we backed off on some of the snow potential, still looks like light accumulation around Buzzards Bay. We're talking one to maybe three inches of snowfall across Cape Cod and the islands and perhaps some scattered dustings here in Boston. This could still change because we're still a couple days away. So keep that in mind. What looks likely is we will see some extremely high tides because of the supermoon, especially Tuesday morning, 941 in Boston, 11.7 feet. Flood stage is 12 and a half. You add a little bit of some wave heights to that, five to 10 feet just offshore, even if that low is well offshore and we could be talking about one to one and a half foot surge. And that's why minor coastal flooding is probable for those northern and eastern facing beaches along the coastline. Super blue moon, that's going on Wednesday officially full at 826 in the morning, that moonrise 519. And only 3% of our full moons are blue moons. What we mean by that, this is the second full moon of the month. And February won't see a full moon. 25% of our full moons our super moons. Fun facts right there, but could pose a threat to the coastline. So we'll keep you up to date on that coastal low Monday into Tuesday. Then winter temperatures back for midweek. Watching another system for Thursday and Friday. So guys, 40 years ago, New England experienced the biggest blockbuster winter storm most people have ever seen. The blizzard of 78. Join our weather team for a look back at the historic storm, plus a look ahead at what the rest of winter has in store for us. Ion Weather Blizzard of 78 airs tomorrow, 8.30 in the morning. Bright and early. Bright and early, yes. That'll, that'll take me back to my days at BU, oh. where I was in the blizzard of yeah. 78. I, my mom was yelling at me to jump up the sled because I was going into the street. <laughs> it's an incredible storm. Yes, and hearing yeah. the, the stories Something. from all of you at home, it's just amazing. It's a good product. I hope you tune in. All right. Thanks, Pamela. Thanks.